What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're gonna be talking about how to export your digital assets for iOS and Android applications. This is part three in a series about exporting digital assets for your projects, whether they be websites or iOS applications. In part one, which I'll link right up here, we talked about the different file formats like JPEG and PNG and SVG, how to choose which one to export and what's the distinction between those different types. In part two, we talked about exporting assets for website projects. In this episode, we're gonna be talking specifically about iOS and Android applications and the different screen resolutions and how how and why you need to export for those. To understand the different export sizes, what you're really trying to understand is a term called pixel density. Everything used to be so much simpler when everything was just one. But then when retina screens started being released, all of a sudden everything went from one to two. And what that means is that there's more pixels being fit into that same area. And so what Apple used to refer to as one point or one area, they would fit one pixel into. And you have lots of those points or pixels on your screen that you're looking at right now. As time is going on, we're figuring out ways to fit more pixels into that same point size. And so now one becomes two. When the iPhone 6 Plus and 7 Plus were released, now you have even more pixels being shoved into that area. And so that term pixel density has been formed. I'm gonna link some more blog posts and information and even some more helpful videos that explain this even better than I'm explaining right now so that you can really understand pixel density and why because you could talk about that for a really, really long time. When you move over to Android, you have what's called DPI, which is dots per inch. And so they're, they're usually called DP or SP and there's a whole conversion that happens over there. I'll link some information down in the description to help you understand those as well but I really wanna focus my time on showing you how to export for both of those platforms. So to do that, we're gonna jump right into Sketch and figure out how to get this export process and this workflow cooking. So we, you can see we're looking at a, an application that we're designing right now, and there are some assets we're gonna to need to export. Like for instance, maybe this, uh, this plus icon down here, or maybe, um, yeah, so maybe this plus icon down here or this minus, maybe our shopping cart icon. And so these are the type of assets. Obviously, we're gonna want the content that's in there, like the t-shirt. And so we're gonna have to export all of these out at the appropriate sizes. And so I wanna show you how to do that. Um, I'm gonna grab my little shopping cart icon. It's already named in my, my layers panel over here, cart, and it is like a combined shape. Okay, and so we can take our little shopping cart icon and that is gonna be an asset for both Android and iOS. And so what we wanna do is, and I'm really thankful in the newer versions of Sketch, they've updated to just create presets for this, is you wanna come down into your export panel and you wanna click plus. You can add these all by yourself, but if you read into some of that documentation, you'll find that when it comes to iOS, you usually, the standard is to have a one, two, and three X version of every asset. And in, in Android, they work differently. They don't necessarily work at one, two, and three X. They use MDPI, HDPI, and then different versions of HDPI because they have those DPs, right? And so we want to just go in here to our little presets icon. And first we want to click on iOS. That's going to give us the one, two, and three. That's going to export everything out as a PNG. You can change that if you want to be a JPEG, but just make sure that your files are named accordingly. Usually one X, doesn't have to have any sort of suffix on it. It's just known that that is 1X, that is the OG size. Everything after that should have a suffix using the at kind of like symbol. So if it's two times the size, at 2X. Three times the size, at 3X. And then you would go ahead and just export those to wherever we're just gonna export mine onto the desktop. And now you can see if I just drag them in, you can see I have all three of those assets like hanging out in my directory, ready to give to my developer. Now when it's time to export things to your Android developer, you would just go back to your little icon settings and click on Android. And now you can see that you've been given all the different sizes. These relate specifically to the Android screen resolutions and Android screen sizes. And so you can see you have a one, a one and a half, a two, three, and a four. And each of these are titled MDPI, HDPI, and then some version of HDPI, like X, double X, triple X. Just like a t-shirt, it's, it's suggesting the size of that file. And so some developers will like you to have this 
uh, this slash there, like as a prefix, or some developers might like to have, you, have it be a suffix with the at symbol, and you can just change that dependent on, on your file organization and their, you know, how they like to work with things. But basically, you're just gonna change those to your liking. I prefer the, the suffix version of all of these, and so we'll just do that really quickly. And what's really great is after you save all these, which I'm, I'm almost done doing, I'm gonna save all of these to suffixes with the at symbol, right? And so you would have whatever the file name is, like cart at MDPI or cart at, right? So that would be the file name of it. Um, after you're done, you can actually come up into your um, sketch preferences and you can go to your presets and you can save or create new presets. And so sketch is gonna give it to you one way, but if you like another way, you can go ahead and do that. And you can create presets for whatever you want. Maybe you know when you're working on a website that you like to have three or four different versions at these different sizes. You could create a whole preset for like website hero images or banner images and have that preset locked into Sketch. So again, using a really smart tool is a really smart thing. And so after we've done that, we're literally just going to export all of our cart uh, icons and export them out to the desktop. And now you can see I have five different icons and they're all different sizes and you'll know that because if I drag them back into Sketch and just get them out of a specific layer, you can see all of the different sizes that it's exported it at, okay? Um, that is the process, that is it. That's how simple it is, is using these export presets and understanding that every asset that you export should go into an asset archive or library. You should always run these things through like Image Optum, or if it happens to be an SVG, something like SVG OMG. You wanna export them, you wanna compress them, make them look as good as possible, and make sure they are set apart for all the separate screen sizes. Well, that's it, that's how simple it is to export all of your assets for iOS and for Android applications. You're trying to make them look as good as possible, run as fast as possible, and be exported specifically for all the right screen sizes. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'm also gonna leave a bunch of information in the description so you can better understand pixel density and the difference between iOS and Android. I hope you guys are designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing applications and I hope your export process and the process of working with your developer is like A1 amazing. Use a smart tool, design smart stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.